Welcome to our second video on least common multiple. In the last video, we showed how to use the factor tree and how to find, use that factor tree to find the factors and then use those prime factors to find the least common multiple. In this case, we're going to keep going with that to look at a couple more examples, uh, especially examples where we have more than more than two numbers. So the least common multiple of 3, 9, and 21. What do we do? Well, my first strategy is for each number to think about what the prime factors are. So for 3, that is prime. So that's, that's done. And 9 is just 3 times 3. So we're done with that. And 21 equals 7 times 3. Alright, so the least common multiple we said in the last video, and we tried to explain why, is that um, you look for the look at the, the prime factors of your numbers. Now, for threes, right, we know in each case we need at least one three, but one three is not enough because in the number nine we need two threes. So our least common multiple has to at least make the number nine. So we have to at least have three squared. And then, um, although three and nine don't require a factor of seven, 21 does. So to make 21, we also need to get that factor of 7 in there, and now we're done, right? The, the least common multiple of these three numbers is 9 times 7, which is what? That's 63. And we could test it, right? Right at the multiples of 3, eventually, 3, 6, 9, we would reach 63. And for 9, the same thing. We would start with 9, and then 18, and 27, and eventually we get 63, and 21, of course, is 21, right? And then 21 times 2, which is 42, and 21 times 3, which is 63. That's the first multiple that all three numbers run into. And again, all you're doing is, from each, from each number, take each type of factor. So the first type of factor was 3. And the most times it occurred within a factor tree was twice. So that's what we use. And then the second factor type was 7. And the most that occurred was once. So we just take 7 to the first power, which is just 7. And uh, this, is, this is pretty much, I think, my favorite strategy for at least common multiple. Let's look at one more example. Let's say we have to find the LCM of 12 and 80. What do we do? Well, let's take 12 and write it into its prime factorization. So 2 times 6, 6 is equal to 2 by 3, and then the, let's take 80 next. Well, 80 is the same as 2 times 40. Circle that 2. 40 is the same as 2 times 20. 20 is the same as um, 5 times 4. Oops. And then 4, right, it's 2 times 2. So 12 is just 2 squared times 3. And 80 equals 2 to the 1, 2, 3, 4th power times 5. So what does the least common multiple equal? Well, again, our first type of factor is 5. And the most it occurs in either number is once. So we take a 5. 2 is our second type of factor. It's in both numbers, but the most that occurs is 4 times in 80. And then 3 is our last type of factor, and that occurs only once. And again, we don't need to include the 4 2's from the 80 and the 2 2's from the 12, because yes, that would create a multiple, but we would be repeating ourselves, right? We're trying to find a number that, that both 80 and 12 go into. So if I have 2 to the 4th, right, I, I definitely have 2 to the 2nd in there. Because 2 to the 2nd times 2 to the 2nd is equal to what? That's, that's 2 to the 4th. So whatever our new number is, and we'll figure it out in a moment, I've already got 12 in it. 12 will definitely go into it because I have 3 times 2 squared in this number. It's there. So 12 goes into it. And if, if, I, if I had 5 times 2 to the 6 times 3, that would be a little redundant because uh, I would get this big multiple. It wouldn't be the first one because in 2 to the 6, I have 2 to the 2nd times 2 to the 4th, right?
but but if I have two to the second times three, that's twelve. Do I need this this two to the fourth times five to get eighty? Couldn't I just say, well, if I had two to the fourth here, if I use both two squares, that would give me two to the fourth. I don't need a whole separate two to the fourth, right? I could use two squared from here and the two squared from here times five to get eighty. I don't need all of these twos. It's just too many. So now my least common multiple is going to be 5 times 3, which is 15, and 2 to the 4th, which is 16. So for the numbers of, of 12 and 80, if I want to find the least common multiple, it's going to be 15 times 16, which is 240. Okay, I hope this helped.